This is going to be a baseline video of uh, the uh, ground floor of uh, Hawkling Gust House. And I think I'm going to try to do it as one long shot. Uh, let's see. I'm going to tear the wall off and the barn back to that old uh, foundation. I had added, or my grandfather had added things. This I'll save. It'll be cantilevered, but that's further up. That will come out, and here I will start soon, uh, this week maybe, the base to a chimney. That beam uh, will probably interfere, and I'll have to frame it differently. Okay, now going inside, uh, well, wait, first, that concrete beam, boy, was that work. I beat and beat and beat on that. That was about 40 years ago in order to break it out and let the water out of the barn. The remains of it are down there by the pond, I think. I, My grandfather put it there, uh, I guess, to make a feeder, but it acted like a dam. And I've seen times when this whole barn was full of water, or a mixture of manure and water, up to the height of that beam. So I beat that out. And then I could back in here with a manure spreader and clean it out. Now, water has been a continual problem, and it still continues to be a problem, but today I'm going to actually start to work on it. I think what happened is, well, no, I'm, I'm sure of, to some extent of what happened, is there's in effect a hole here that works like a spring, and water comes out. This is the driest time of the year, but you can see water there. Now, I don't mind water coming through there. I actually broke that hole through the wall to let water come through there because it comes from a spring. Uh, a well, I'm sorry, on the far side. That's also kind of another story, but that will be drinking quality water that will come through there. But the water that just comes up out of the ground has not had a way out. And this piece of steel, this steel pipe, will work, but it floats. It keeps working its way up. Uh, all right, now, they're working around the barn. The cows are in here, but they're, they're probably not getting excited. This, this is probably the third. No, wait. This, this is the second and maybe the third barn over this foundation. And the foundation speaks like that joint right there. Uh, you can tell there was once a door there. I might have been the one who built that in. But before that, there might have been an older door. Uh, this uh, sill I added, that's a bit of a long story too. Here's the, uh, the outer sill, is the original one, but I put one on the inside because this whole wall was beginning to roll outward because the barn was full of water and manure and it had froze and it was turn, turning that wall out. Now, <clears throat> when I, uh, another thing that speaks here is that concrete slab, my grandfather put that in there. But the fact that he put it at the height that he did is an indicator of how <clears throat> high the floor was. Stuff has been taken out of here too deep. In effect, a hole has been made here. Now, uh, when I came here, there was only one beam, I think, the whole way through this, and I think only two posts. I can't remember. These ones that are look like that are ones that I poured when I first came here. Uh, and another thing I should show you maybe now is if you look at that sag. Well, no, I'll show you later. All right, let's work our way around here. Uh, so anyway, I've got a lot of filling up that I can do, and I'd even be willing to let it be manure as long as it's dry. Uh, this uh, must have been... That was an original wall. I did not do that, and this was original. But there was, a, but the uh, part in the back—that's a barn bridge uh, retaining wall, which I built, and it's held pretty well. Part of the stones fell out. Um, well, I can't—I just can't tell you everything. But mo mostly, I'm trying to film what you see right now, um, because things are going to change <laughs> dramatically, but maybe not as fast as I'd like. Uh, I'll put a post in there, and uh, the thing I'm going to work on today, and I'll probably film next, is this water problem. But if you look at this, you can see that that wall was laid on the ground, and then it was afterward excavated, either on purpose or 
because it was mixing with the manure. And right there and over there, the indication in the foundation is that that was a door. It must have been a low door. Um, so there are things I don't understand, but, I, but as I say, I'm, I'm filming this as a baseline. And there you can see it goes on, that there, that there was stone laid over older stone or something. Not sure. All right, and then let's see, finally, th that platform, I built that uh, as a way of being able to come in here and not get down in among the cows when I didn't want to. So here's going to be the place where I'm going to be working soon, and, and you'll, see, uh, you'll see the results uh, real soon, I think. Um, I've, I've got those gates right there because the cows keep walking in there, and they mix the manure with the ground and, in effect, keep making the hole lower and lower. All right, let me see. I guess maybe one other thing I'll show you is that here, that foundation, now there's what the beam that my grandfather poured, that foundation stops, that's a hand hewn sill and maybe is original to something, but this part here was new and I'll tear it out. Um, and that stone, I didn't put it there, I'm pretty sure. I think that that was completely covered with manure when I got here. All right, I don't know how eloquent this has been, but but uh, it's. I just wanted to film before I begin to do any further work here. So, bye for now.